I'm Dalton Link. I'm the community manager and social media manager for Bandai Namco US. We're down here in Chile. We're super excited to, uh, to show the press and all the fans the, the brand new games that are coming out 2017 from Bandai Namco. You know, Tekken 7's uh, the, the, kind of the, the top tier uh, fighter, and it's one of the uh, kind of the evolution of the franchise. Uh, it's going to feature over 30 characters, uh, all different costumes, all new stages. Uh, we have some new characters like uh, Akuma, uh, Kazumi, uh, that are going to be uh, in the game. You know, we, we already had uh, uh, Tekken 7 uh, Faded Retribution out for uh, in, the, in, the, in the arcades. Um, and now we're bringing it to the console on June 2nd. It's going to be out on PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. So uh, Dark Souls 3 DLC 2, The Ring City, um, is coming out on March 28, 2017 uh, for PC, uh, Xbox One, and PS4. It's the final uh, DLC pack for Dark Souls 3, uh, the conclusion of, the, of that game. Um, it's going to feature new weapons, new armors, new magic, new PvP arenas, new bosses, new enemies to fight, new environments. Uh, it's, it's longer than the Ashes of Eridol DLC. Uh, it's going to be a fantastic send-off to the series. But yeah, for Dark Souls 3. Uh, it's a, it's, uh, we're asking players to be around level 1 to 125 once they start. So most players should, should play both the base game and the Ashes of Eridol DLC before they uh, jump into the Ring City. It's, it's a high level difficulty. It's really for the, uh, the core players that are looking for a new challenge. Hey, I'm Denny Chu. I'm the Director of Communications uh, at Bandai Namco Entertainment America. Today we're demoing Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom, and a lot of people have already noticed there's a little bit of change in style. Um, what people will notice first is in the open world map, it takes on a little bit more photorealistic uh, look. So you'll actually see blades of grass moving, you know, trees are blowing in the wind and whatnot. And then your main characters that you play at the beginning, Evan, Tani, and Roland, they actually take on more of a chibi style uh, look within that uh, map. Now once you get into the actual battles with monsters, it actually, the game morphs back into that G Studio Ghibli anime style that people know and love. And at that point, you know, we've got new, um, new little helper characters called Higglies. Not only will these guys help you in battle, they'll actually help you get to certain places in maps where you can't perhaps jump to. You know, that's one of the things that we're showing off in the demo where, you know, you, you, you meet a new Higgledy and his, his power is controlling wind and he actually creates a little big, uh, well, not a little big tornado, but a little bigger tornado that actually swoops you up to allow you to reach a place that was too high for you to jump uh, prior in the demo. These Higgledies also can be used for their attack strengths and, and talents as well in that each different group of Higgledies have their own magic spells. Or you can have the Higgledies actually attack enemies in mass and in our demo we actually show that when we play against the boss. The boss is this big uh, wooly bully character and we tell the Higgledies attack him all at once, they jump on his back, get him distracted which allows the main party to go in there and use their melee and magic skills to take them down. So all of these things combine along with a new battle system where we're actually using a real-time battle system now versus the previous game that was a uh, turn-based system, really brings more of a dyna dynamic that's going to be a little bit faster paced. Um, and we hope all the Nino Kuni fans and Studio Ghibli anime fans out there will take notice and definitely uh, play the game when the time comes to launch it. But Ace Combat is obviously a, uh, a franchise that's been very long running within Bandai Namco as, as a company. Uh, last year it celebrated its 20th anniversary. It's, it's hard to believe that uh, the franchise has been around that long. So with Ace Combat 7, it's making a big comeback on the current gen systems. Uh, today at our event we're actually showing it on PlayStation VR, which is amazing because everybody that's played it has had a great time. 
The demo actually has you taking off from an aircraft carrier. You know, you come up from an elevator and then, you know, you get steered onto the aircraft carrier uh, runway and you take off and you're in the heat of battle right away. Some of the things to, to take notice, obviously, great graphical fidelity, great physics, all of the classic uh, gameplay elements that Ace Combat fans love are all in there. The radio chatter, um, the ease of control, yet the challenge of the gameplay uh, is all preserved. It's, it's kind of crazy to also kind of bring up that the last numbered chapter of Ace Combat was 10 years ago at this point. So we do have a whole new generation of players that we're going to try to appeal to. And judging from today's reaction, just from the VR demo, I think it's going to be a big, big launch for us. Hola everyone, it's Jason here from Banner Namco Entertainment and I'm here talking about Little Nightmares. Really brand new exciting game from, from us. Uh, brand new franchise that we've been building from the from the scratch. Uh, it's based on, on a uh, character named Six, which is a, a little girl and she's trapped inside a giant uh, underwater vessel called the Maw. And she's trying to find her way out. She doesn't know why she's here. Uh, she uh, has to solve a lot of uh, puzzles and and hide and there's lots of uh, really uh, kind of creepy uh, art style and the character design is, is very eerie uh, but one of the things that, that you're gonna find as you play through the game is that uh, a lot of your childhood fears uh, that you had growing up you're gonna face a lot of those fears in this game and so the game is kind of uh, intense scary it's dark uh, it's the atmosphere is very moody the the sound and the audio all really kind of make you uh, very um, it, it kind of intense to play the game uh, but we're really really excited we're working with a great development team uh, Tarsier Studios which is based in Sweden if any of you uh, uh, like some of the little big planet games they've actually uh, made some of those games in the past uh, so they really are very good at having uh, this kind of small world, uh, kind of big environments, and, and there's a lot of inspiration there in this game. Uh, but we're really excited about this. Any of you racing fans that did not check out Project Cars 1, stop watching this video, go play Project Cars 1, because it's an incredible racing game, and Project Cars 2 is going to take it to a whole nother level. We've added the most tracks out of any console racing game that's out there. Uh, most of them are all real-world tracks that we've modeled. Uh, 3D modeling and photogrammetry, really, really high-end uh, realism. Um, obviously, cars are very important, and I think if you were a fan of the first game, you'll be really excited to know that a lot of the cars that were missing in the first game, I think you're going to be excited to hear about what cars we've got planned for this game. Uh, we'll have more information on that as we get closer to launch, but needless to say, we've got a lot of awesome cars in this game. Uh, also, the uh, the, the focus on the most absolute authentic racing experience ever. Uh, that's really what we've really focused on in this game. It's what made the first game so great, and we're really building even deeper in this next game. We, you know, obviously we had VR support for the first game, but we also have VR uh, support in this game. 12K screen, if you want to do three 4K screens linked, you can. You can also play with a gamepad. We've spent a lot of time uh, working on just the gamepad. I know that was one of the feedback on the first game, so we really made a focus that you can really enjoy the game with the gamepad this time around. Um, we've really focused on the environments and how that affects the track. So we have um, you know, everything from all the seasons of the year, winter, <laughs> summer, the rain, all these things change how the track is and how you're going to race against the track. We also have a lot more racing types in this game, which we'll be talking more about in the future. But needless to say, Project Cars 2 is going to be the biggest, most mainstream racing game out there, uh, coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Steam. Hi, Power, えっと、6月2日に、えー、鉄拳7の方 
新作が発売されますので、えー、こちらの方ぜひいろいろ情報をチェックしてくださいよろしくお願いします